you are kind of like inspired by those famous little dwarfs that are cartoons. This being the last competition before nationals, there's a lot of pressure on the girls. So I wanted to do a routine that would be a little different, something fun, something entertaining. So we're doing a musical theater piece entitled The Seven Dancers. See, we don't do these kind of dances that much. I think the number's cute. I just don't know. It's musical theater. I think that's kind of yeah, that cute, idea. Cute isn't. We do have musical cute theater has its that's own little... competitive. Now, the group routine, it's beneath them. This is what an eight and under routine would do. Not these kids. We've got preteens and teenagers, and they're doing the seven little dancers. Who's going to be the seventh? We only have six. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Hi, this is Abby Lee Miller from the Abby Lee Dance Company. How are you? Good. Listen, this week, I'm doing a musical theater piece, and I need a seventh kid. She's calling someone. If you could get Kaylee here, I would like to stick her in this number. Definitely. I need her yesterday. I'm bringing a dancer named Kaylee in this week. Now, not only do I need a seventh dancer for this routine, but Kaylee was next in line to become an official member of the select team. And now that Ava's gone, I think you've made it quite clear today that you are not really what I'm looking for for the select team. You're done. I want to see if this kid has what it takes. I think we're going to stop because Kaylee and Chloe's not here. So is it Kaylee that's coming? I remember her. She was at one of the auditions. Somebody had told me that her mom is really crazy. We don't need crazy. We have enough of crazy going on. Tomorrow's the last day of rehearsal, so we got to Yeah, we got on one Friday. day. We've got today. Is Kaylee going to come out of the closet somewhere what downstairs? Like, where is Kaylee? Honestly, I don't think we need anyone. But yet, we have this issue of the seven dancers and we only have six. I'm a little nervous and very skeptical. What dance studio in America operates like this? Five, six, seven, eight, bomb, bomb. All right, let's go. We have seven! Girls, most of you know Kaylee, and this is her mother, Kate. Hi. Oh, she found her way here. I may have an opportunity on the select team. So I'm going to try you out. She probably drove all through the night just to get here, to do hokey pokey dopey dance. You ready to jump in here? Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Chloe wasn't here yesterday. She had to go get an MRI. We have a ton of work to do today. Kaylee just arrived here in town, and Chloe was at the doctor's yesterday. They both need to catch up on the routine. Now, this is a goofy, lighthearted, fun musical theater number, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. So I need all the girls to be 100% focused. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi, ladies. Hi. Oh, hey. I'm Kate. How are you? Hi, Kate. Hi, Hi Kate. I'm Holly. I am so annoyed that Kate is here. This is supposed to be Sarah's week. We're the select ensemble team. We're supposed to be the pinch hitters. She doesn't even belong here. So what is Kaylee's thing? Like, what does she bring to the team? What did Abby see in her? She's very good at musical theater. Well, that's what this is. And now, are you a dance teacher? I am, yes. OK. How did she come about being on this team? She actually went and auditioned. But she didn't make the select ensemble because Sarah's on the select ensemble. Right. She didn't make, no. Work with your face. Chloe, I don't see any emotional execution, which could be two things. It's beneath you. Or number two, you're in pain and you can't think about anything else. Chloe has an injury. No, no, so, she doesn't have an injury. Well, that's what she just told her. You don't know the full story. Chloe's fine. She's dancing. Well, you don't get an MRI in 
and you're fine. Excuse me, that's none of your business. Thank you. I don't know who this new mom thinks she is, but don't sit here and talk about my daughter. I feel that some of you are threatened by Kaylee because she's here. No, I'm not threatened by Kaylee at all. No, we're not threatened, we're just no. curious. And you have to understand where I'm coming from because we were picked for the select ensemble, but maybe she's not bringing what Abby wants to see. My daughter, she, your daughter's she not here her. to replace my daughter. Let's get one thing clear. No. Your daughter cannot do what my daughter can do. One, two, up, down, up, down. Sarah, wake up. Girls, you need to get it together. I can't even stand to look at this. They can't even scoot into the right place in line. Why is she yelling at the kids? Why, Why is she screaming? Yeah. I just told the girls, I don't think they get it that this is the last week before nationals. Are you watching them scoot backwards? They don't even know where they stand in line yet. I'm actually having a hard time watching because I'm getting yelled at by her. She doesn't understand why I'm here and why you didn't pick somebody else from the select team. We're just wondering why. Haley was the next person in line for the select team. Abe is gone, never gonna happen again. But let me preface this with, it's the Abby Lee Dance Company. It's none of your business. Worry about your own kid. Worry about her turnout and her legs, because they're both. Fix it. Still think that she doesn't belong? This is the last routine before nationals. We want to win. We don't want to get beat by a lyrical or a contemporary number. Understood? OK, this is it. Sarah, Kaylee, don't screw this up. is at an all-time low. She's touching me and poking at me. And nobody acts like that. Who acts like that in a dance competition? If you want to dance professionally, you're going to have to do musical theater pieces. If the girls aren't in perfect sync and they're not clean, we're never going to win this competition. Up next, please welcome the seven dancers. do with what they were given. But I'm not feeling this costume, I'm not feeling this number, so I'm a little anxious. I can't even clap for that. Oh my goodness. That was awful. Awful. It, it has to be the worst dance I've ever seen. And first place in the overall small group division, act number 63, the seven dancers. Congratulations, everybody. Take a bow, take a bow. Hi, ladies. Hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you congratulations. Dumbest routine I've ever seen that you guys did. Kathy comes in, and she is like a raging lunatic. You know what, Nationals? We have something enormous planned. Yes, you do. Bigger than you. We know you do. If that's possible. So look out, because I think that you will not have anything to say, because you're amazed. I have had it with Kathy's mouth today. She brings out the absolute worst in people, including me. Hey! Stop! Oh, stop. Who wants to hear your mouth? Kathy! You're finished! You're washed up! You're old! Oh, you're I? nothing! Oh, uh, really? Get on the broom and fly away I, home! I don't need to get on the broom and fly away home! Don't touch other people! I'm not you sat in the theater you. and poked me I in the back! I want you to shut your mouth! Because don't all touch you other people! It's talk through other kids' dances! You're a hypocrite! You're and a hypocrite! You're a Oh, honey, you know what? 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 You
obituary, you would know. We are doing a new group routine this weekend, and everybody's in it, the entire cast. It is called Where Have All the Children Gone? This is a routine about children who become missing. You've all seen the children's faces on the mount cartons. It's contemporary, it's mature, and it is very dark. You have to be great actresses to pull it off, and they're all in white like they're angels. I don't want any discrepancies. I don't want any opinions. Where Have All the Children Gone is one of those routines that's simple and clean, but it tells a story. It makes you think. And that's what people are looking for in an overall high score winning number. This is a big regionals for us, and I want them to do something that nobody's ever seen before. I want to change it up. And I don't think any of the moms would dare say anything to me. Moms, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss you now. We have lots of work to do. Girls, up. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Come on. Children Gone is a very haunting, dark piece of music. When you're at a competition, the dancers that everybody's talking about the next day or the pieces are the ones that told the story, the kids that could act as well as dance, the choreographers that made you think about something, that made you feel something. And that's what Where Have All the Children Gone does to people. The original concept is about children that have gone missing. So the kids on the Mount Carton, the kids in the news every night. But I put a little edge to it as to maybe there was some bullying involved and was causing other children to commit suicide. That's what the story is about. We hope they're hiding. To be honest, I don't really know what the meaning of where have all the children gone. But Miss Abby said we're giving the message to parents that this has still been happening and you should be safe. Um, but I really like it. It's really cool and creepy and awesome. Where have all the children gone? I love dark stuff because I do dark stuff and I even did a missing child thing. But I don't think that this is age appropriate for Mackenzie and Vivi at all. I'm, I'm sorry. Surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm not happy about that at all. It is a very disturbing song. My kids are fine with it being dark music. I, I don't even think they really listen to the words, of whether the costume or the music. I mean, it's just, that's the art of it. I really worry that this number may be too heavy for girls this age. It might be too depressing, not only for the audience, but for the judges as well. To me, it's about child abduction. It's a message that I know for Mia makes her very sad, and I'm a little uncomfortable with it. Come in close, listen to me. All right, you're dancing, you're doing steps. You're trying to listen to the words. You're not interpreting the story correctly. And this is very serious because maybe people in the audience have had a child that's gone missing. So you're gonna touch somebody's heart. So this has to be a very serious routine. And right now, you're just doing the steps. And we need to get past that and we need to perform. Do you understand? It's very serious. I am an artist, and when it comes to complicated choreography, the children who are the dancers, they need to become artists as well. And I want to teach them to convey the story with their emotional execution as well as their dance technique. You ran, you ran, and you stopped, and you're like, ooh! Give me a hand, give me a fist. Ooh! Where Have All the Children Gone is a very haunting, dark piece of music, and I love to use stuff like that. At some competitions, you'll see a lot of dark things, and at others, it's your typical upbeat, fun, tap, jazz, whatever. So I try to get my kids to do everything. Ooh, like you're trying to grasp on to stay alive. We already know that they can jump and kick and leap and turn. That's not in question. But can they convey this story to the audience? A story which some of them don't even understand. Paige, hey, figure out where you're supposed to be. I think Where Have All the Children Gone could win because it's a good number. And we normally don't do scary numbers that, like that. We normally do more numbers with face and personality. Where have all the children gone? Up! Oh! 
inside. Today's group number is where have all the children gone? It is a dark topic that has to do with children that have gone missing. Choreographically, there is an edginess to it, and it's very subtle. So I don't even know if the judges will see all of that happening. Of their sons and daughters, where have all the children gone? I think artistically, it's a beautiful piece. But yeah. it's pretty somber to see a child sh choking themselves. I am always a big believer that Abby always has a strategy in mind that she doesn't share with everybody else. She's the expert. I'm not, and that's what we're paying her to do, and I have to trust that she knows what she's doing. It's jarring. I don't know, it's just plain creepy. It is a little creepy. But I know some it's of death. It's d death, and it's violent. I'm not really sure about where have all the children gone. It's really dark. I mean, we have little kids on stage handling an issue that's that's too dark for most adults. I don't think Abby wants to hear anything we have to say. No, please. If we tell her that we're disturbed, she'll stabby chokey us. I know, exactly. It's a heavy topic, I, I know that. But I'm trying to challenge them to emotionally execute the concept along with their dancing. Please welcome to the stage, where have all the children gone? The creaking silence of age echoes through the streets. Sounds like old wooden floors under heavy feet. All of the children once running around have evacuated. Or maybe they just disappeared. Although disturbing, I'm glad my child was a part of that. It really did stretch her as a dancer. I don't think that anyone would say it's too heavy and too mature. Now, maybe some of the moms thought that, but once again, I'm not out to please the moms. I'm out to please the judges. We're going to find out the 11 of the highest score for you today. We were at Nassau. So this will be your 11 and under Victory Cup winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest score for a team of the day went to... Entry number 250, where have all the children gone? Congratulations, that is all of you. Congratulations, this goes to you. I questioned that dance from the beginning, but Abby was right. She pulled it off. Good job, take the girls. Our girls did qualify for nationals, so we are going to nationals. There were over 280 acts, and they were first. The highest scoring number in the entire competition. I knew this would be a risk, but it was definitely a risk I was willing to take. It made everybody stop and pay attention to my dancers. I'm Abby Lee Miller, that's what I do. Congratulations! Aren't you guys excited? Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. The girls won the top award that you can win, and they deserved it. Things are looking really good for nationals. Now I have a better idea of what we're going to take. We just need to figure out how we're going to get that swing there. But this isn't the end. It's only the beginning. We have a long road before we get to nationals. All right. I think, can you go to the mall now? Yes, I think you can go to the mall. Yeah. They think things are tough now, but just wait. Things are about to get a lot tougher.